Life is like an onion. You peel off one layer at a time and sometimes you weep. That joke was so terrible, I don't even know where to begin. So we're going to pretend that never happened. I'm sure we've all been through this before. You start chopping up an onion, and then before you know it, tears start rolling down your eyes. <laughs> hey, who left this bowl of onions here? But why, though? Is it because ogres, ogres are like onions? No! no! It's because of a chemical reaction that takes place. Let me explain. So when you chop up an onion, you're breaking its cells, thus releasing certain chemicals from these cells called lacrimatory factor synthase enzymes. That's a fancy mouthful for you. So these enzymes react with the sulfoxides, which in turn converts them into sulfenic acids, which in turn become sympropenethyl S oxide. Oh boy, that took a while to say. So this crap goes into the air, and when it reaches our eyes, our brains go, oh shoot, this seems irritating. Better protect my eyeballs. So our eyes react with reflex tears, one of the three types of tears that our body produces. And these tears are basically made to wash out any irritants from our eyes, such as like dust or smoke or anything that enters our eyes that shouldn't, and it washes the irritant away. But what happens is, as we produce these tears, the gas reacts to the water in our eyes, which forms sulfuric acid, which burns even more, which produces even more tears. And that is why onions make you cry. <laughs> What'd you get out of here? Now we can actually prevent this crime from happening. You can cook an onion, you can, you know, have a fan blow the gases away from you, you can cut it under running water, but you don't want to do all that crazy stuff just for an onion. And you want to cut up raw onions. You don't want to have to cook the whole dang thing. So I got easier solutions. One of them is don't take the root off. Keep it on. You can cut it in half, but don't take it off until you're done chopping off that onion. That really helps. Also, cutting it with a super sharp knife helps because if it's dull, think about it, you're basically crushing those cells and grinding them instead of slicing nicely through them. So when you're crushing them, like hitting it with a hammer or whatever, it releases even more of these chemicals and you'll start crying even more. Also, a very interesting thing to note is that the more sulfur is in the soil, the more the onions will make you cry. So if you actually grow onions in low sulfur soil, you won't get it as much. You know, eliminate it as much as you possibly can. So if you are growing your own onions, it might be best to keep the sulfur levels low in the soil. Well, before I go and eat this whole onion for no apparent reason, I wanna know in the comment sections down below, let me know, do you have any tips or tricks to avoid the crying and the whining when you're cutting up onions? I wanna know. And with that being said, I'll see you all very soon. Peace. Hmm. That actually was quicker than I thought. <laughs> hey!